boys and girls. What's up my lovely people of YouTube? And you might see, backpacked, coat on, and we're out vlogging. I haven't done this in a bloody while. But I want to get back to this. Alongside doing those videos with the hot topics, uh, latest one that I did was, so, you got that kids? <laughs> Check that one out, it'll be linked in the description. It's more positive than it sounds, trust me. Um, today we're in London, and we're doing a little bit of collab work with one of the young guns. And we have landed with Mr. Elliot. How are you doing, guys? If you haven't seen him on Instagram, his link will appear here, and it is... Elliot Be Fit. I have to think about that for a second. <laughs> <laughs> but more importantly today, we're here to show you guys how to develop these juicy... But look at the state of that beautiful little peach. <laughs> <laughs> and we thought, well, if anything, a lot of you guys are obviously want the bigger arm, big arm workouts. Now, biceps are pretty. They're pretty biceps. But arms is more than biceps. Yeah, definitely. Triceps is two thirds of your arm. Biceps is the peak, the cherry on the top. Yeah. So today what we're going to do is we're going to show you some fundamental exercises. We're going to give you our top tips as we do them. A little bit of motivational raw edits. Yeah. And uh, hopefully by the end of it, you'll have a good kick-ass arm workout. Yeah. Ready? Sounds good, yeah. Let's Sounds do good. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is a reality what you don't see that we're normally like. Oh. <laughs> Let's go. In a cold night, emptiness haunted me. I saw a light, but it was too dark for me. I heard you call. First up, bicep curls. Everybody's a favorite, but one often done very, very wrong. So let's take a look here. We have soft knees, glutes engaged, rib cage down, shoulders controlled and no swinging like an ape here. Check it out. Full homo sapien upright control. Elbows are kept nice and tight and flexing the tricep at the bottom of each rep to make sure we're getting a full extension, squeezing at the top and fighting that negative. So we're getting contraction and also eccentric loading. This is hugely important. If you don't control the negative, you're missing 50% of the movement. We chose to return to a hammer grip position, but you can keep it palms facing forward. And what we also decided to do, and a great way to finish your sets off, is to go from single arm into double arm to make sure that you still get used to that balance of working left and right separately and also together. <laughs> Three. Top tip for standard bicep curls that we just did. Go. Oh, oh, you actually want to do the top tips? Do your top tips. <laughs> right, so when you're doing these, obviously we're doing single arm, but obviously you're going to get to a point where there's not much left in the tank. So as you can see at the end, got both dumbbells at once and went for double arm curls and just got maybe a few like cheat reps, but just sort of getting them up, getting the final bit of squeeze out of your arms and uh, yeah, it'll find it's a, it's a good way to finish them off. I saw your sleepless face and I fell hard. For you girl, I can reach the stars Next up, hammer curls, one of my personal favourites And there's a couple of things to note here We're doing it seated, but we don't have the back of the bench up That's forcing us to work our core, keep our rib cage down, shoulders back And this is a great one, look at the elbow position Here there is zero forward movement with the elbow You're able to come straight up and really focus on squeezing the biceps Flexing the triceps at the bottom again We're not pigeon necking, keeping our chin neutral, spine neutral Chest up, but rib cage down Finishing again, double arms. When you do this, it's kind of like three to four reps maximum. It's just a, a strong finisher. I myself like to keep it a little slow, focus that squeeze, but again, look, no body swing and a top tip coming your way. Three. Come up. Four. Oh, woo. <laughs> <laughs> so top tip into the tip. Hand positioning is vital. You want that hand at the top of the dumbbell, but the main thing here is we're looking to keep those shoulders square at all times, not have too much body roll. So main thing here is the shoulders back, chest up, and relax the neck and keep the chin tucked. If you keep this relaxed, these will stay relaxed. If you hit, if you groan here, uh, it's gonna bring your traps in, it's gonna make you hitch, it's gonna make you twist. Top tip over. Yeah. 
standing tricep kickbacks. This one's done so wrong because a lot of people will swing through and kick it through. They'll use too heavy a weight. Look at the weight we're using. It's light. We're keeping a fixed elbow, rib cage down, neutral spine. We're posting out with the same working side leg and squeezing at the top with a stop start position at the bottom. That's your main focus. This is about technique, not weight. Oh. Top tip into the tip. Top tip is use the mirror. It's not just there to look at yourself. If you use the mirror, you can see your positioning and make sure that you're doing the exercise right. So use the mirror. You gave me warmth when no one did. Cable rope extension superset with press ups. These are all about the squeeze and position again, just like kickbacks. So we clear the hips, come down to a straight arm, and squeeze the triceps without over rotating the hands. Again, don't put too much weight on this. It's a lightweight exercise. You're going to drop that straight down, 8 to 12 reps, and then go again, 8 to 12 reps. Close grip press ups, focusing on keeping a neutral spine, chest down, and working at full range of motion. Top tip, into the tip. Duck feet with the hands. Hands turned in, so that this imagines the foot heel, in, elbows, rocked in, don't let them spray out. That'll really target triceps on that finish. We're zoomed, we're good, and we're back. There you go, you've just seen our tips and tricks for getting yourselves through a good arm workout that's gonna leave you pumped, but also- In pain. <laughs> pain. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely yes. pain. A lot of pain, but pumped. But hopefully, the little tips and tricks that we've given you for each of those little points, they're the difference makers. So anyone can just go in and move weight around. And I say it often, lift it, don't shift it. And all those little top tips that we gave you in between those sets, don't just go, yeah, 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 got it. Listen and implement it, and then really try and feel the difference to what you do now. What we also did... No Q&A. Little Q&A. So we put one up on Insta. So we're going to answer... We've seen a couple of good questions we think a lot of you can benefit from. So, we are going to do that in a casting couch style. This is possibly the creepiest way of answering <laughs> this. Question one, we're gonna start with this, and it's a big question, but we've, we think we've got a way of answering this. How to achieve a physique like ours? Okay, huge question. Yeah. Huge, massive. Like saying, how long's a piece of string? I've been training like 18 years, 18 years. Elliot is only long time. 24, been training. Eight years. Eight years at 24 years old. So if someone tells you you think they're 24 and they look like Elliot, you're probably going to think, oh, he probably started about 20. He's nearly been training for a decade at only 24 years old. And this is our point. <laughs> when you look at somebody that's got a physique like that, it's not an eight week, 12 week transformation. No, no. It's not a summer got fit job. When you look at us, I started sport, school, sport, 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 yeah. sport, all the way through. Same as me. Same. Yeah. Yeah. So it's just kind of in our nature yeah. to be this way. Like, don't get me wrong, got the attention span of a cocker spaniel. Dreadful, <laughs> dreadful. I have my massive down points, but one of my good points is physical activity. Always has been. When I was a naughty kid, my mum would send me out on a run. <laughs> I'd come back, behave fair myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was no longer feral. <laughs> Th things that are important to remember as well with physique. So with that question, it's like, how do you get a physique like yours? You're, you're pointing at a specific person. But obviously everyone is different. Everyone's got a different genetic makeup. So good. those are big factors which play a part in how you look. For me, obviously, I w had good genetics when I started, well, I have good genetics. So when I started going to the gym, I saw a relatively quick increase in muscle mass. However, when I started going to the gym, I didn't have a clue what I was doing. I was actually just throwing weights around and sort of seeing what happened. When I started, when I compared myself to three months early, uh, earlier, I was like, Oh my god, I've put on so much size. But if I look back to those to that period from now, I was tiny. <laughs> but so it's all incremental and you'll notice the changes over time. Um, it's only when you really look back that you notice yes. kind of how far you've and come. And I think your your mind's eye changes the further in you get. Like when you first start, you notice small changes because yeah, yeah, it's like yeah. all new and you're like super amped about it, yeah. aren't you? So you're like, yeah, it's fucking working. But then when you're in the grind and it's been a year down the line, mm -hmm. and now you're looking now you can't see the changes anymore yeah, yeah. because you too, you've looked yourself too much 
and now you start getting aggravated because you can't see those initial changes. You lose that kind of lust and you get yeah. stuck in ruts. Don't ever try and have somebody else's physique. Yeah. It's not going to happen. I can't have Elliot's physique. He can't have mine. Exactly. What we can take though from each other is ideas. We can implement them into our own routines, see how they feel, see how they work, keep what does, throw what doesn't. Yeah. And it's that. There's no one perfect way, but the main thing is time, consistency, and a big reality check in timelines. Big, big one is realize when you see somebody that looks a certain way and is somebody you would like to get toward a level of, they've been doing that shit a long time. Yeah, and it's just what it takes. It's a lifestyle, not just a summer. Cool. Definitely. Next. Favorite exercise? That's a quick one. Yeah. Okay. Uh, my favorite exercise be. Glute kickbacks. <laughs> <laughs> Hard to, it's funny when it's hard to actually think of an exercise. Okay, favorite exercise. Okay. Um, Many hours later. I would say at the moment my favorite exercise is a unilateral. It's like an alternating lat pull down where you have both arms up and you go one, two, like that. Yeah, holding onto the straight bar. Yeah, no, onto or single arms. Yeah, yeah, onto the straight bar. Yeah, yeah. so you've got the big no, 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 bar. Sorry, not the straight oh, bar. Onto those the, ones. Yeah, no, on the uh, so the handles. Ah, so yeah, 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 nice. Because when you also when you pull this one down, this stretches up as well, so you get a really good stretch on your lat each on nice. each side. So yeah, I don't use that now. Yeah, that's my favourite one at the moment. Nice. Yeah, I've been doing it with the wide bar. You know, you hold one side, pull down. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I did, I did do that. Actually. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. So yeah. you got two versions of that one. Uh, mine. I'm gonna go still with. I think my rotating dumbbell skull crusher variation, which is where you're lying on the bench, you start with the elbows back at an angle, hammer grip on the dumbbells, and you come up and roll them out and leave your arms at an angle. Nice. I think skull crushers with a bar, one, can be a little dangerous, because yeah. people get a bit carried away with weight, and end yeah, up just definitely. freaking, you know, if it's smash on the head, it's, it can split you. Yeah, but yeah. two, when it's too heavy, people come up and over and rest yeah. too much. The dumbbells, it's focus, it's light, makes you think, makes also, you Also, with the ease of bar, I, I struggle with, um... I find my wrists, if I go too heavy on an easy bar or on a bar, my Messing wrists, wrists up. Yeah. I, yeah, I struggle there. That's so. true. So if your wrists are hurting you, ditch the easy bar, pick up the dumbbells. Yeah. That's it. Cool. Next. If you could train with anyone, past or present, who would it be and why? I didn't get into training when I had people that I looked up to, like, necessarily. It was more just like... What about movies? See, for me, if you're going to ask me that instantly, the reason I got me in the gym, Bruce Lee, Van Damme, Arnie, Stallone. See, the reason I got in the gym is because, the, genuinely, the most the honest reason is because loads of my mates started going to the gym and they were getting big and I wanted to get big. And that's, that's cool. as basic as it is. So, And that's the thing with me as well with the gym. I've, it's always been a tool to to improve my lifestyle. Something you've wanted to do. Yeah, but it's never been some. I've never like aspired to be like a bodybuilder or to be like vision with it. It's more like going to the gym, training, achieving my goals in that sense helps me to tick boxes in other areas of my life. Do you mean I go to the yeah. gym and then I'm more I talk about a lot, yeah, so the crossover oh. of that I mean, gym mentality yeah. into real life, benefit, cool. That's whole, That's cool. I mean, that's just a whole different answer for another question. So if you use this, cool, <laughs> yeah. fine. You're good. Yeah. You're happy just getting right, you yeah. yeah, you're yeah. all right. <laughs> I, on the other hand, want a selfie <laughs> with Stallone. So yeah, I'd say fair. Stallone, I don't know why. Over Arnie, I don't know. I just think, because I think, because more Stallone was that, he, he got into the, you know, Rocky boxing, Plus the weights, he's also very much Rambo. into kind of, yeah, just that. Whereas Arnie was just a, a, a lump, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And although he was a Terminator, he was awesome. Stallone, I think, would More be the, the man, bit. Sort of like, Stallone's, yeah. yeah, he'd have you rolling in the yeah. fucking nets and yeah. shit. Yeah, I think that'd be cool. <laughs> right, that's yes. Lovely. Last one. So we don't, um, we're out of time, because Elliot's got to go shopping. <laughs> <laughs> Classic. Not a lie, not a lie. <laughs> How to start making new friends in the gym when you are new there and don't want to be weird. That's a good one, Alex. What a lovely bloke. I don't want to be a gym weirdo. Help me. <laughs> <laughs> Making don't touch with... other people. Yeah, I mean, that's definitely a Don't just walk yeah. up and go, nice. That, that's never going yeah, to work. Yeah, no, I don't okay. think that's... Avoid this. Yeah, again, <laughs> definitely avoid that. <laughs> be friendly in general when you're in the gym. You can either sort of tunnel vision, not speak to anyone, do your own thing, and just avoid contact as much as possible with other humans. And then but, you won't meet anyone. But then you won't meet anyone. Yeah. So if you're just friendly, or when, you, when you're asking someone if they're using a machine, or when you just walk past and you give them a smile, eventually you'll probably just start chatting a little bit about what you're doing, you'll be interested in what they're doing or why they're training that yeah. way, and vice versa. 
I think that's kind of just a natural way that, for that to develop. Jumping on stuff with people. Yeah, Someone's yeah. Someone's doing triceps on their own and you want to do them. You just go, mind if I jump in with you? Usually that'll start a way of conversation. Definitely. Or if they don't, they don't. It doesn't really matter. Like, uh, people are always like, oh, oh how do you, uh, you know, how do you approach them? I'm like, there's two things that are going to happen when you approach someone. They're going to be nice mm -hmm. or they're going to be a dick. <laughs> Either way, you don't lose. Yeah. They're like, oh, okay, don't talk to them again. Or maybe you caught them on a bad day, so maybe try again later and they might be yeah, nice yeah. or whatever. But there's like, there's no, nothing bad's gonna happen to you if you're trying to talk to someone. Yeah. You might get snubbed, mm -hmm. so have a look around, smile at people, ripple yeah. effect. Give a smile to somebody, that little smile passes on someone else and it just creates a nice little vibe. Yeah. Don't, I'll tell you what you don't be, don't be a gym teacher. Oh don't, my be, God. don't go up to someone <laughs> thinking you're gonna make a friend with them by criticizing the way they're training. Yeah. Worst thing you can do. What you can do though, is if you see someone doing something you like, Go up and ask them, like, what's that doing? Yeah. How? What are, the, what are the main bits I can do? Most people, you will be shocked, are so willing to impart information. Yeah. Because they're like, fuck yeah, I can help someone. It, mm. it gives people, it makes people happy to help other people a lot of time, regardless of what the Daily Mail will have you believe. Yeah. All 12 year olds are not to stab you, and people do want to help you. If I see someone in the gym all the time, and like I don't have some kind of communication with them, I feel like it's it's almost awkward that I haven't said. Yeah. Hello, or how you doing, you're right, mate? Like, yeah. even though you just, they're just walking in general, you're right, mate? Yeah. It's like something like that, it's basic, just normal communication. I do it all the time. Yeah. I suppose it's a bit easy for us because we can get recognised in the gym, so people tend to come up to us, and, but I'm always really chatty. Yeah. Most of the time, they're like, all right, like, shut up. I'm, I'm going to go and train. <laughs> yeah. I, I like it. I like talking to people. So if you meet someone like that, you'll make an instant friend. Gym friends. My best friends are from the gym. Two people, two things you'll meet in the gym. Usually best friends or utter weirdos. Yeah. Approach people, do it in real life. That's another crossover point, like Delhi was talking before, crossovers. Fucking get out, just have a smile at someone. Yeah. Say hello, say good morning. Pass on some good vibes. Get your head up, stop walking down, stop walking like, the amount of people see walking through gyms, through life like this. Yeah. Get this and just yeah. leave it in your bag. Bluetooth headphones. Be welcoming, be appealing, be approachable. Yeah, definitely. I think, that's it. I think we've done yeah. some good stuff there. Yeah. We have imparted so much wisdom today. Yes, we have. And we're hoping to make this a little regular thing. I'm gonna try and pop down to see Elliot a couple of times a month. He's gonna try and do a similar thing so that we have some of these. And we're gonna do that. Right, what do you prefer? Do you prefer Lex a lot? Lex, Lex Elliot? Lex, Lex, Lexiot. Lex Elliot. Lex Elliot. Lex Elliot. Lex Elliot. <laughs> So we've got Lex Leliot, Lex Leliot. We're trying to merge the na our names. Yeah, maybe we just give so us some... Maybe give us some yeah. ideas and we'll create a little series of it. So it'll be like, Elliot Lex, or Lex Leliot, or I don't know, you think of something yeah, and we'll yeah. try and do it. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna create these YouTube videos, but we're also gonna create IGTV things for you guys so that when you're out and about, maybe you don't have the time to sit down and watch a YouTube video that's as in-depth as these, that you've just got something there on the day, you can go bam, using that, save, good, go. Yeah. And we've got a kick-ass occlusion training one coming your way. So thank you very much, yeah, absolute mate. pleasure. Oh yes, we just did the, okay, and here's another thing, awkward moment, I went for fist bump, he went for, just gain of it, just accept it, own your shit, be approachable, thank you for watching, check out Elliot, all links in the description, he's gonna go shopping, I'm going home, toodle bit. <laughs> I've been all up in the kitchen Had to make a move, had to make a little distance A lot of people tripping, they could never see the vision Fuck that, tell them bouncing